Hello, um, so in this tutorial, I'll be adding a rotary animation to this front tire to make it spin. Um, to do this animation, the first thing we need to make sure is that our tire, once our tire is constrained, I mean you add your mate to your tire, you want to make sure that the tire is able to spin around so when I grab this tire, I should be able to just spin it spinning around freely um so once you have that or the part you're working with um the next thing you do is go into motion study and you're gonna click on motor and rotary motor you want to have that select and component and direction we just want we're gonna select a circular edge so i'll select this edge um the red arrow pointing is like in what direction do we want it to rotate so I reverse my just to rotate it uh, clockwise and I will constant speed we're gonna leave it at constant speed and RPMs I will do 70 RPMs and I will click OK um, so now the rotary motor has been added here so when I recalculate it um, as you can see the tire is rotating um, it's a little bit slow when it recalculates but when you run the animation everything should be fine um, so that's good so the next thing we want to do is let's say you want your part to rotate and at five seconds you want it to stop because what this means is this tire this um ro rotation is going to this tire is going to be rotating for however long i have my timeline running for example if i move drag this to seven seconds the tire is going to keep rotating so if you have multiple parts you're trying to run animation um run an animation too but you only want your tire to rotate for a couple of seconds so let's just drag this back to five seconds so what we'll do is we'll stop that rotation at five seconds and to do that uh, we can copy this key keyframe copy or you can drag it it doesn't either one works uh, paste and at five seconds we're gonna right click on this and we're gonna turn it off so when I hover over this it should be off at five seconds so it says rotary motor one off and when I hover over this it should be on so it's on I want zero seconds and off at five seconds so let me recalculate um, so it should spin and at five seconds it should stop so so if you have multiple part running and that's how you would rotate a part and stop it um, so the next thing we want to do is set up the camera so right click on this add camera and um, this view looks good actually so this is on this left side um, this is where you adjust your camera and on this right side this is what the animation looks like so I'm um, just maybe zooming a little bit uh, um, something like that looks good and uh, maybe down and I'll change my ax my aspect ratio to 16 by 9 just to give it wide make it wide so I'll zoom in a little bit um, that looks good so I just click OK and another thing is when you set your camera you can always um, and I have done this in the previous tutorials you can watch it you can set up a sketch here where you can constrain your camera to to revolve around it and all that stuff but for this one I'm not this I'm not really focusing on how to set the camera just showing you how to do the rotation animation so we'll do okay and the next thing we want to do is um, click yes for this and so we go into save animation um where do we want to save it um before we save it i made my camera as you can see my camera is not in the my 
viewport is not in the camera view so I want to make sure I have that camera selected so I'll find the camera right click uh, select camera view and let me replay this um, once again it's breaking out of the camera view and what we need to do for that is once this is done recalculating I will show you is um, right click on the orientation and camera view and you want to select disable playback of view keys so now if I select my camera view and play it should stay in the camera view good um, so now we're just gonna save this animation and run it so I'll do just my aspect ratio this is my camera view I'll do 15 frames per second I click save um, compress I just click OK um, do I want to recalculate yes and so this animation is going to run now and I'm just gonna let it run for a little bit and I will show you what the animation looks like once it's done okay so now our animation is done so I'm just gonna browse to my file location and I will find the video um, so I think I save it in here and BMX bike assembly and you have the tire spinning for five seconds um, thank you very much for watching if you have any suggestion or if there's any other ways that I could have done this please feel free to leave a comment um, thank you bye